Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie, and I'm back with another $2 outlet thrift haul, all of which is to resell on online platforms like Poshmark, Depop, and my Instagram, Curated by Natalie. This haul is honestly one of my favorites in a while. It has so many vintage gems, which are of course my favorite to resell, but it also has some modern brands like brands to be on the lookout for, and just of course style-based trendy pickups. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul today. Let's kick it off with these funky patchwork vintage clogs. They are just amazing. I love vintage patchwork stuff and these are out of this world to be honest. I wish that they were my size so bad. They're a size women's 12 and they're in really pretty good condition. There are a couple of spots of discoloration but like nothing major and the soles are in good condition and so is the shoe bed. So I'm really excited about these. These will be featured in an upcoming Instagram collection that I'll be posting this week. Most of the pieces, especially the really exceptionally funky ones, will be in that collection because I haven't been posting on Instagram quite as much these past few weeks just because of the holidays. So I'm excited to pick back up and start off with these gems right here. Another fabulous vintage piece is this beautiful faux fur jacket. It's so lovely. It's a chocolate brown and it's one of my favorite vintage brands right here. This is the tag. It's Mix It. So last month I picked up this amazing leather jacket from them. It was really a Penny Lane style. So, you know, it had these fur cuffs and fur collar but it also had embroidery all along it and was true, you know, tan leather. It was absolutely stunning. I sold it for over $100. This one will likely sell for a little bit less just because it doesn't have, you know, genuine leather embroidery and those other key details, but it's still amazing and so cool. One of the funniest things about this piece is that I found a Missouri receipt in the pocket when I was cleaning it up. So I just think it's so fun. Like this jacket has such a story behind it and it's so cool. The model pictures of it are amazing. Like it just shows it off so much more than I can even just on camera. I love this vintage brand too. I've really gotten to know a lot of vintage brands from thrifting and this is the brand Loris. They have the absolute coolest blazers and they're all like subtly funky. Like this one, I don't know if you can tell, but the sides are different. So they're obviously black and white, but it's just this fun, you know, patchwork like style that's just subtly funky. And I think it's so amazing because it's still very chic and professional while having a little bit of fun uniqueness. This is a size large and the like collar that's suede is true leather. The outer layer of the blazer is a wool blend and it's fully lined. It's really quality. I love these blazers so much. Another one of my favorite vintage pieces to resell is grandpa cardigans. They are just so fun to style and they do exceptionally well on every single platform. I've sold them on all of them and this one is no exception. This is a really nice fabric blend being cotton and Rami. It's this brand duplex which I have never picked up and honestly didn't find many pieces of this brand online but it's still so quality and so cute and cozy it's a size large in men so it'll fit up to a women's extra large really comfortably i just like this i really love these quilted flannels and they do really well for me the thing that i've noticed with them is they do better if they're a larger size so this one is a size large and it's just really comfy and cozy and a little bit thicker than a regular flannel so you can wear it more as a jacket which is a shirt jacket than you know a regular flannel really nice quilting and flannel outer so we had a grandpa sweater now we have a really nice grandma sweater and the reason i say grandma instead of grandpa's well one this is more of a floral purpley pattern a little bit more feminine but also how grandma chic are these ruby 
buttons right here. It's just so fun. This is a vintage brand that I have never heard of, um, but it has a really nice fabric blend with a little bit of Angora hair, a little bit of wool, and you know, of course, I think a little bit of acrylic too. But nevertheless, it's actually really soft and just so cute. Like I styled it with a nice cream top underneath and it just looks so chic and cozy at the same time. All right, now we're into a little bit more funk again. How fun is this vest right here? This is actually a brand to be on the lookout for. I know it's vintage, but this brand Eagle's Eye their sweaters sell really well on all resale platforms because they specialize in this fun, funky sweater content. I don't know. It's just so fabulous. Like, look at these zebras. I styled this with a black turtleneck. I'm wearing a maroon turtleneck right now, but a black one. And it looked funky yet chic at the same time, which I think is amazing. Like, you don't really find a lot of funky pieces that don't scream funky from a mile away. And I don't think anybody would really notice this thing going on right here until they're kind of like in the same room as you. And it's a really cool piece. It's a size medium cotton rami blend and I think it'll do really well. I'm excited. This is a more trendy based pickup. Sweater vests are still really popular and they look so cute styled so many ways the way that i styled this piece for the pictures was just with a black turtleneck i literally went from that one to this one and it looks so chic i know a lot of people pull it off with a white collared shirt or you could even wear any colored turtleneck under it or just wear it alone however this is a size 1820 and it's literally no brand in particular it's white stag but i picked it up because it is so trendy and cute this is just a funky pickup. Like there's always a couple pieces that I just pick up because I'm just drawn to and I can't put them back. And this is one of them. It's a real 80s acid washed denim shirt with the most amazing stars on it and really fun loud buttons. It's a size 11, 12. I feel like it fits like a medium. It's just in really good condition and really fun and funky. I don't know. There was something about it that said I needed her. <laughs> okay, this is actually a really great piece to be on the lookout for. So I know I've talked about Irish wool sweaters in the past. They resell so well for me. And I felt this one. I was like, oh, like this is probably an Irish wool sweater. I'll pick it up and, you know, think about it but it's almost even better than an Irish wool sweater. It's a Norwegian wool sweater. This is what the tag looks like. It's Volund. And these resell so well on online platforms, like of course the ones I resell on, um, and they're listed at like over a hundred dollars. I was like, wow. <laughs> I hit a jackpot. I think it's so fun that in Houston, like I honestly will find some really random, really nice winter pieces. And I think it's just because like you can't wear them here, you know? It's like, what are you gonna do with a Norwegian wool sweater when it's 70 degrees outside? This tiger print leather jacket is out of this world amazing. It's genuine leather and obviously it's got this amazing tiger print on it. But if you look a little closer, you'll notice the patchwork pieces on it. It's just spectacular. It's in amazing condition. It's true vintage. It's a size 2X, which is phenomenal because finding amazing, unique, quality vintage pieces like this in a plus size is really hard to do. So I'm excited to have this piece featured on my Instagram. This piece in particular is one that I did buy from a buy sell trade store. I make my weekly trips there. And it's the only piece I picked up. I did pay a pretty penny for it, but I could not leave it behind. Like it needed to come home with me. It's so awesome. It has pockets at the front and it's just like this drape open style. It's so sleek and just obviously funky. It's fabulous. Now we have a little bit more low key piece right here. This is a hooded cardigan and it's so awesome. I had so many people coming up to me being like, I want it. Like, do you not want it? And I'm like, no, of course I want it. Like, this is fabulous. It's this long length cardigan. 
It's 100% cotton. It has a hood in these amazing cuffed sleeves. It's just so pretty. I'll try to attach a picture if I can so you guys can see it styled because it's just not showing its full potential in the camera. But it's absolutely stunning. It looks so elegant yet comfy. And it's just an awesome piece. It's this brand... Jeanne Pierre. I've picked up her sweaters before. They're just honestly quality substantial pieces and this is no exception. Back to some funk. <laughs> These are some really awesome vintage pleather trousers. Like these are so cool. They fit really amazing. They sit right at your true waist and have a really complimenting style to them. They would best fit a size four. I'm a size six and I was able to squeeze into them, but I feel like it was a little bit tight. I don't know if I would want to sit down in them. <laughs> to be honest, I might bust a seam. So I think that they are best for a four, but of course I always keep like waist measurements, hip measurements, and all that jazz. Another pair of trousers. I love vintage trousers so much. And this is actually like a staple vintage trouser brand, Briggs. Their pants do really well on Etsy, I've noticed. Um, I know Etsy kind of specializes more in vintage. So if you're looking for Briggs pants, I know Etsy has a lot of them. These are really nice classic, oops, checkered print. And what I really like about them is that they look like they're wool, but they're not. So they're not itchy. And they also don't have to have that edit, added layer of lining. They are a size 12, but in all honesty, they fit more like a modern eight. I did already try them on and they are super cute and would look so good styled with a turtleneck and a belt and oh, just a really nice classic trouser. This is another classic vintage piece. What's so cool about this is it's new with tags. How cool is that? New with vintage tags, it's studio wear petite, and just a really nice classic khaki dress. It's a size four petite. It's a little bit short on me. I'm five six, five seven for reference. So I would say, you know, that petite sizing is definitely for a shorter person because it's a little bit short for my taste, but still so cute. I feel like these trousers and this dress are very much like dark academia, you know, coffee house vibes. Up next, we have this a little bit of a witchy vibes sweater. It's got these really awesome silver embellishments and just such a cool wool blend, thick quality sweater. It fits like a medium. It does not have the size in it that I could tell thus far. It's this brand Meister. Their sweaters are reselling at like $30, um, but this one in particular, I probably will sell for just a little bit less because there's a little bit of pilling that I couldn't get out with my sweater shaver. I don't know if y'all can see that on the camera, but I do want to account for that in the price. I know, you know, it's usually pretty easy to get pilling out once I'm home, but this one was a little bit tough. And although it's not like truly flawed, I just don't want someone to be disappointed. So I want to acknowledge that and, you know, let people know. And then of course, acknowledge it in the pricing. This at first was just a fun pickup, but it's actually a piece that does really well and you should definitely be on the lookout for it. So vintage fleeces are just really great pieces to be on the lookout for. And this is a true like brand people search for. It's Santana and people really like their Aztec boho printed fleeces. This one's a little bit more plain, so I don't know if it'll do as well as those other ones, but it's so soft and cozy and just, I couldn't leave it behind. I was like, this is in such good vintage condition. It's so cozy. I was telling my friend at the bins um, because she was kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of plain. And I was like, no, no, it's good. It's good. I'm going to get it. It's a size extra large, but I'm telling you, their Aztec and Boho ones do really well, like 50 to 100 on all kinds of retail platforms. Um, this one, I'll probably list a little bit less because it is a little bit more plain, but it's still that same Santana vintage fleece. Now we have some bread and butter pieces. Sam Edelman Penny Riding Boots. These are 
my fourth pair in my reselling journey and they always do really well for me. My last pair sold in 24 hours for full asking price. Now this pair is in really great condition as have been the other ones. There is one small flaw that I couldn't fix. So I think that there was a sticker right here at the top um, and there's just this material that I can't get off. I did try Goo Gone, but it's like just a little bit of discoloration. I don't know, but I can't quite get it fixed. So I will have to acknowledge that in the listing and in the price, but these are really awesome. They're size nine. All of my boots that I've sold <laughs> have been a size nine. So I'm excited to add these to the bunch really nice classy boots speaking of classy boots we have these short black boots they are genuine leather and they're a size eight and just in perfect condition they're actually no brand in particular just like literally couldn't even find the brand but they're leather and they're a size eight and they're just like a closet staple i don't know i couldn't pass them up especially at an outlet store i love picking up shoes because they're just pretty easy to list. You don't have to model them. If they're in good condition, you can just Clorox wipe the bottom and use a little bit of Doc Martin Wonder Balsam and they're good to go. Another bread and butter piece are Allegria clogs. They do really well. So they're like a healthcare style clog. You know, dental people wear them nurses, everybody like that. And they're $140 new. So, you know, a lot of times people turn to Mercari, Poshmark, wherever to find a cheaper pair. So I was really excited to pick these up. They are a size 38, which is about a seven and a half. And I think they'll do pretty well. Of course, they don't sell for $140. They typically sell for like 40. Another bread and butter piece right here, some Chaco sandals. These are a size women's nine and they're in pretty good condition. Of course, Chacos kind of have a little bit of dirt on the straps. I did try to wash them off, but you know, people are wearing them hiking and stuff. So you can't expect them to be perfect, but they'll still resell really well. Then we have some Jack Rogers sandals. These are a size seven and they're in pretty good condition. They do have some toe prints, but the soles are in really great condition. So I think that they'll do really well. I mean, I've sold Jack Rogers before for like 25, which you would expect them to maybe sell for a little bit more saying that they're like an $120 shoe. But saying that I got them at the outlet, I'm pretty happy with selling them at 25. Last find of the day and arguably my weirdest find these croc heels my friend at the outlet was like don't <laughs> this is not you but the five resellers were like croc heels are good they always pick up croc heels at you know the bins not just croc heels they pick up any kinds of crocs because they weigh practically nothing so i'm gonna risk it and see how they do they are a small size which i don't tend to pick up small sizes don't tend to do that well but we'll see croc heels and balenciaga released some croc collaboration heels obviously they're like 700 dollars, and i don't know who the heck would buy them but Maybe someone's trying to be trendy and get with the Croc Heel program. And that is all for the haul today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Please check out my Instagram. A lot of these fun, funky pieces will be featured in a haul this upcoming week. So definitely head over there and check it out. Thanks so much again. Bye.